globe has simply evolved into a global village thanks to technology and the traditional methods has been replaced by an electronic format which not only make things easier but also save time and effort digital accounting is fast gaining popularity among many businesses however the accounting controls in a digital environment is vital to know so in this video we are going to learn information system controls data entry controls as well as information processing controls due to the digital technologies traditional industries and business models are changing Internal controls are put in place by businesses to protect, assist, prevent fraud, validate financial records, keep track of organizational performance and guarantee an effective and unhindered flow of commerce. The use of new digital technologies expose these organizations to emerging risk in their business models and operations. Models are changing and common control patterns features the overall control environment risk management and audit are also being influenced by these digital technologies thus there must be new ways to prevent manage detect and correct risk exposure in digital environment and threat of digital environment it is necessary for an organization to identify the nature of possible threats to its information system and establish a set of measures called controls. According to Chartered Institute of Sri Lanka, information system controls are a set of procedures and technological measures to ensure secure and efficient operations of information within an organization. There are two sets of controls. First one, general controls. General controls related to the overall system rather than a specific software package cover data center operations, system software acquisition and maintenance, access security and application system development and maintenance. Let's look at what are the application controls. These application controls are applied to the processing of a specific application like running a computer program to prepare employees payroll check each month these controls help to ensure that transactions occurred are authorized and are completely and accurately recorded and processed according to this there are three types of application controls input controls processing controls and output controls Let's see what is data entry control. Data entry controls are preventive controls that every company should have implemented in a business process. It helps to maintain high integrity and quality of the data entered into the system so that processes can be executed properly. Field check, sign check, limit check, range check, size check, completeness check, validity check, as well as reasonableness test are some of the data entry controls we can ascertain. Let's look at field check. Field check determines whether the characters in the field are of proper type. It can be text, number or date, etc. Sri Lanka zip code would indicate an error if it had the alphabetic character. Why? We all aware that zip code contain only numerical characters. Sign check determines whether the data in the field have the appropriate arithmetic sign. It can be either positive or negative. Limit check. 
test a numerical amount against a fixed value. Just imagine a speed limit. It will make sure that the entered number doesn't exceed a predetermined value. The best example would be regular hours worked field must be equal or less than 40 hours and not exceed more than that. Train check test whether a numerical value falls between predetermined lower and upper limits. The best example is the speed limit set for a vehicle. is another type of data entry control. It will ensure that the input data will fall within the assigned field. The best example is the password you are gaining in the digital environment. Completeness check. Completeness check is used to verify that all required data field in a form have entered. So if a firm has 10 required field, there must be data entered into all 10 fields. If one of the field is missing, then the form cannot be submitted. Valid check is used to verify that the data entered into the field is similar to the company's master file data. For example, if a customer enters a product ID or a discount code, the system will do a lookup to the company's master file data to see if the product ID or discount code exists. If the data entered exists, then system will register the entry as valid. If the data entered does not exist, then the system will register the entry as invalid. A closed loop verification. Check the accuracy of data by using it to receive and display other relevant information. For example, if you enter customer ID and the system bring up the name and address of the customer, then you should be able to verify the customer ID is correct by verifying the name of the customer. Reasonableness check determines the correctness of the logical relationship between two data items. It will ensure that data meets the expected range, type or value. Due to the automation of the accounting systems and digital technologies, most of the time we are going to enter data as badges into the system. Therefore, it's vital to know what are the batch processing techniques in the data entry controls. Batch processing works more efficiently if the transactions are sorted so that the accounts affected are in the same sequence as recorded in the master file. A sequence check test whether a batch input data is in the proper numerical or alphabetical sequence. An error lock that can identify data input errors facilitates timely review and resubmission of transactions that cannot be processed. Batch totals summarize total important values for a batch of input records. The following are three commonly used batch totals. First one is financial batch. Second one is hash total sums. Final one is record count. See, what are the online data entry controls? Prompting, in which the system requests each input data item and waits for an acceptable response. To ensure that all necessary data 
are entered. Closed loop verification. It checks the accuracy of input data by using it to retrieve and display other related information. Transaction lock includes a detailed record of all transactions, including a unique transaction identifier, the date and time of entry, and who entered the transaction. When data is processed, a variety of internal controls are used to ensure that the incoming data is processed according to established rules. Therefore, information processing controls are performed to check accuracy, completeness, and authorization of transactions processes as accounting transactions. There are several types of information processing controls, such as data matching, file labels, recalculation of batch totals, cross footing and zero balance test, right protection mechanisms, as well as concurrent update controls. Data matching is considered as the most important function after profiling, cleansing and standardizing activities. It aims to identify data that refers to do the same thing. By finding more accurate matches, organizations can more easily identify duplicate records. Then, these duplicate records can be assigned as one record and choose to either merge them. Or, they can create a master record and discard the other identical entries. Also, it identifies the possible matches that are in different entities as well. File labels are there to make sure that the right and most recent files are being updated. File labels for both internal and external files should be used. Each file starts with an internal label that lists the file name, its expiration date, and other information. Batch total determined during the input are contained in the trailer record which is located at the end of the file. I would like to give some tips to organize your digital files. Let's look and have a brief understanding how you can improve your digital files. Pre-calculation of batch totals as each transaction record is processed, batch total should be recalculated. After that, the total for the batch should be compared with the content of the trailer record. A transposition error is when two adjacent digits were accidentally switched around, although they seem like insignificant, but they may have a huge impact on the financial calculations. Write protection mechanisms are used to safeguard data files stored in the magnetic media from rewriting or deletion. These safeguards have been used for a while to keep master files safe from unintentional destruction. In order to prevent errors, this control locks off one user until the system has finished processing the transaction entered by the other. A record is updated incorrectly when two or more people try to update it. cross footing and zero balances test are another types of information processing controls. In cross footing the accountants used to verify that all the numbers are add up. The term footing in accounting refers to adding up a column of data. 
Cross-voting is making sure that the sum of the column totals equals to the overall sum. Zero balance test is a processing control that ensures the control accounts balance is zero after all the entries have been made. Hope you have gained some information and knowledge with regard to the controls in the digital environment. Thank you and stay safe.